Hey everyone, how's it going? Brian here, and this is the first video in a very short, or I guess relatively short, um, video series for the introduction to web design. So we are going to be making a very simple website, not this one that I'm on right here. I will show you the one we're going to be making uh, in this series, which I think should only be like a few videos. Um, we'll be making a few files here. And so this is how basically, I don't want to uh, say every website, but basically the foundation of every website on the internet contains at least these three files. We have an HTML file, um, which decides what content goes on the page, as in uh, will we have text or images. We have a JavaScript file, which provides all the interactivity on the page. So for this website, it might be, you can see the, the text gets a little darker there. Um, this lightens up. This is all doable with JavaScript. I'm not sure if this is how they did it. Likely it is. Um, but any kind of interactivity uh, is done with JavaScript. And that's how we'll be doing it. And then finally, we have a CSS file, um, which also could be responsible for this. The CSS file styles the elements in our page. It's what makes this uh, button blue. It's what makes this text bigger than this text. And this text going to grade out unless I go to those pages. Um, yeah. So we have the three files. We have HTML for the content, JavaScript for the interactivity, and CSS for the styling of the content. So I'll open this page real quick. I'm gonna warn you, very, very simple website, <laughs> uh, which is fine because it's our first website and we'll be making, maybe it's not your first, but good refresher. And we'll be making it very quickly. Only one kilobyte in size. So here we go. So we have the three elements we were just talking about there. We have HTML, which puts this text on the screen. We have CSS, which colors this green, this black, and the two randomly generated numbers are red. And of course, when we make this, you can change your colors to whatever you want, or even make your own website based on the, uh, the ideas that are taught in these videos. So the JavaScript part comes in in this text box right here. Uh, it's asking us, what is the product of two and four? I know that's eight. So I type in eight and hit submit. And we have correct. So JavaScript is what is causing this correct text uh, to, to appear down below the button on this page. It actually changes the HTML of the page. Uh, here we have what is six and eight. So I'll show you what a wrong answer would be. 12, you can see it changes it to incorrect and it keeps the six and the eight there. So you can try again until you, until you get it right. Uh, if you plan on making this exact website, there are almost limitless ways of which you can extend it perhaps adding a timer. So you have a limited amount of time to type in the correct answer, or maybe a score counter or a streak counter. So like you have five in a row. Um, yeah, but for this video or these videos, we're just gonna be making this simple website it includes all three basic elements of web development, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So without further ado, let's get started. The application that we'll be writing our website in is called brackets. So you can Google brackets or go to brackets.io it's a really, really great program. It's free, uh, lightweight. And the main reason I chose it is because it's available on both Windows and OS X. They might have a Linux distribution as well, but uh, you'll have to check on that if that's you. So click Download Brackets. That's what I did. And I got this download right here. I also downloaded Audacity, which is how you're hearing my great voice. And then once it's downloaded, at least for Windows, I'm going to go ahead and click that. I have not installed it yet on this computer, so this is exactly what you should be seeing. Uh, next, install. Hopefully that did not just ruin the recording with the administrative thing. Now I'm kind of worried it did. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully not. Finish. Okay. Now, once we have that finished, we're going to run brackets. So I'm going to just type in over here, brackets. And if you get this, I guess just allow access for Node.js. Okay, uh, so once you have brackets open, this is the little welcome website they make for you. Um, we can run this website with this live preview button. So I'll do that just to see what it looks like. And you can see what it does is it actually reads this code that makes this website here. And their live preview function is really a great part of this app. It's uh, probably its best functionality here. So you can change something on here. In fact, let me see if I can do it with their, their sample page. 
Um, welcome to brackets. Let's see if this works. La 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 la. There we go. You can see it automatically updates the page. So really helpful when we're making our website to just kind of go back and forth here quickly. You don't need to, you don't need to run the website every time. All right, so let's exit that out and go to File, Open Folder. Uh, don't save. So this is how we're going to organize our workspace. Um, the web folder is where I had that math website last time. I'll just make a new one and I'll just say uh, Indie Web, why not? Name it what you please. Uh, all of the files we make are gonna go inside of this folder. So I just have it on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want. Select the folder and click Select Folder. All right, so now we are inside of our Indie Web folder here. We have no files because the folder is brand new. So to start off, we're gonna make an HTML file first. So just go to File, New. And just like that, we're in a file now. It's empty, uh, so we'll save it as HTML. So if you just hit Control S or Command S on a Mac, we can then save it as index.html. You could save it as a different name. That is the industry standard, index.html. Okay, and now we are ready to start writing our code for our HTML page. So HTML, uh, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is literally, uh, I was saying earlier, almost every website will have a setup kind of like we have with an HTML document, a JavaScript document, and a CSS document. Every website has HTML at least. Uh, that is a 100% for sure thing. So whether it be YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or Brackets um, or Google, every website has an HTML page. It is how we serve content on the internet. And so HTML is pretty simple to learn relative to other languages, in my opinion. Uh, you can see brackets has this great kind of autocomplete, which will become helpful. It only shows us HTML autocompletes too. So that's why we saved the empty file as a .html, is because now it's giving us suggestions for HTML tags that we could use. The first tag is simply going to be HTML. Um, and so the way HTML works is we have what are called opening tags and closing tags. You can see the opening tag that I just typed was the less than sign, then HTML, then the greater than sign. Uh, and once I typed that greater than sign, it already made the closing tag for me. So we have the opening tag here, and the closing tag begins with a forward slash. See that that's closed. Uh, and now HTML kind of works like in code sandwiches in a way. So everything in our entire website is gonna go between this opening HTML tag and this closing HTML tag. So we're gonna make another opening tag here. There's a couple parts of a HTML page that we're gonna work in. The first one's called the head. So again, when you close that head tag, it'll make a, a closing tag for you. And let me indent that a little bit. And below the head, uh, we're gonna make the body. Okay. Now typically in the head part of the HTML page is where we put content that doesn't appear on the actual page here. Um, it's where we link together our JavaScript and CSS files and give some other information to the browser other than what appears on the actual page. So one piece of information that we can give it is the title of the web page and the title is what appears up here in the tab so you can see actually for the the site that i made before i put the title as my awesome site uh, this one brackets a modern open source code editor that understands web design there you go good job brackets so to do that uh what tag do you think we're going to put for the title i will not keep you in suspense it is literally called the title tag and my indentation, uh, you don't need to indent your code the same way I am. It'll read it. In fact, HTML is very, very forgiving with a lot of the, the way you format your code. Uh, this is just the way I do it, kind of. You have your first tags here in the far left, and then the next kind of a row right here. I'm sorry, column. And then inside the head, I'll indent again. Uh, so the title, you literally just put the text that you want to appear in the title. So for making that math site, I will say a 
multiplication game. Okay. Uh, and now in the body, we can just type right here. We can just say hello. Uh, but to get into a good habit for when we style our web page is just like inside the head, we have title tags. Inside the body, when we want to write text, we should put P tags. So just letter P stands for paragraph. Okay. Uh, so let's start off with a quick message just to see if our website is working. I will say, hello world. All right, and once we have that written, or whatever your message is, we can again just hit the live preview button over here, and it will run this code that we've written so far. Hello world, what a great website. All right, so that concludes this entire series. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but we have our title up here, which appears in the, the head tags. And then our body is pretty much everything from this top left corner all the way down to this bottom right corner. Uh, all the content that's on our actual page below the URL bar. So hello world. And it's in its own paragraph as well, um, which if you click around, you could see the parts of the code that correspond with the parts of the web page. So this P tag is this entire uh, horizontal line of space. If I was to write more, you could see it goes in the same paragraph. Uh, even on the next line, we're still in the same paragraph tag. Someone's calling my cell phone. Let me see what that's about. All right, don't worry guys. The show must go on. It'll have to wait until after this super important HTML tutorial. Um, although in fact, I think that this might be a decent place to, to leave off here. We'll do one more thing. We will make the next two files. We're not going to work in them yet, but we'll make the JavaScript in the CSS file. So why don't we go to file new. And again, we're in our new file here and control S or command S save the CSS file. Again, the industry standard is to call it stylesheet dot CSS. And we will make our JavaScript file. We're going to be using jQuery. Perhaps I should have mentioned that before, but it'll probably be in the video title. Uh, jQuery is just a very, very, very popular and easy to use library for JavaScript. So control S and we will name it script dot JS. Okay. So now we have our HTML file, our CSS file, and our JavaScript file. Uh, in the next tutorial, the next video, I think we will be working on our CSS file to start styling these web elements. And also we'll be changing the content in our HTML page or HTML file to kind of correspond better with what the final website will look like instead of just this little welcome message here. Okay, well, that is all for this video. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you found it helpful and I will see you all next time on Indie Programmer.